Baltimore Ravens at the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Steelers with that perfect 10-0 record heading into this week. And Mike Tomlin is my favorite coach in the NFL, even though I really don't like the Steelers much at all as a football team. I never have liked the Steelers. But Mike Tomlin, man, I got so much respect for that guy. I think he is the best head coach in the game today. Baltimore Ravens, they're 4-0 against spread as a dog. 1-8 against spread following a straight-up loss. 8-1 against spread in Week 12. 6-1 against spread as a road underdog. Ravens, 4-1-1 against spread in Pittsburgh. 7-3-1 against spread versus Pittsburgh. The road team is 6-2 against spread in the last eight meetings. The underdogs, 19-7-3 against spread in this head-to-head -head matchup. The overs hit 14-6-2 in the last 22 games in Pittsburgh. Big Ben, he's 53-31 against the spread versus the AFC North. The home teams won 25 of the last 39 in this matchup. <sighs> Baltimore, injuries again, COVID, they go in. 10 people on their staff hit with COVID. You got Williams and who's the other kid? And Campbell on defense that are doubtful on the D-line. And since those two have been out, usually if one of them plays, they're all right against the run still. But with both of them out the last two games, they have been absolutely gashed by the opposing run game. This could be a big factor, especially if Connor can get going for the Steelers offense. I don't know. Everything in this game, the home... Faves are 2-6 two, two and six against spread on Thursday night football this year. It's the first time all year the Ravens are underdogs. Lamar's 5-1 against spread for 2 straight up as a dog. I, I just don't... Uh, Baltimore missing their top two running backs while Ingram's out. I don't know what to make of this game. Pittsburgh, the perfect record. I, this is the time where teams with a perfect record, I might start fading. I, I might start betting against them a little bit, especially with a team like... Baltimore. I remember when Tennessee was all beat up with the COVID and all that going into that short week against Buffalo and somehow they pulled it up and just smashed the Bills. I'm going to pick Baltimore to cover the spread. Fuck it. I'm picking Baltimore to win and give Pittsburgh their first loss. I think this is the one chance on Pittsburgh's schedule. This is the most likely game I think where they could find themselves on the wrong end in the win column. I will take Baltimore just out of fluke just because I don't think Pittsburgh's going to go a perfect 16-0 and 0 this year. That is my only logic for picking Baltimore in this matchup. Just a gut feeling. Those are... That's... My pick for that. <laughs>